Giovanni Costa, born on October 15, 1826, in Rome, was a seminal figure in the Italian landscape painting tradition, notably associated with the Macchiaioli movement. His work, characterized by a profound passion for the Italian countryside, particularly around Florence and the Roman Campagna, played a crucial role in the evolution of Italian painting during the 19th century. He was also a pivotal figure in the cultural circles of his time, influencing not just art, but also the burgeoning movement for Italian unification. Costa's early life was marked by a traditional upbringing in a well-to-do family. His father, a successful lawyer, provided him with a rigorous education which included studies in law at the University of Rome. However, Costa's passion for art, which had been evident from a young age, soon overtook his legal pursuits. After completing his law degree in 1846, he dedicated himself entirely to painting, an endeavor that would define the rest of his life. The Italy of Costa's youth was a nation in political turmoil, striving towards unification. This struggle, known as the Risorgimento, influenced many artists of the time, who turned to art as a means of expressing their national pride and revolutionary ideals. Costa, deeply patriotic, was among these artists, and his works from this period often imbued the Italian landscape with a sense of heroic struggle and idyllic beauty. In the 1850s, Costa became associated with the Macchiaioli group, though he was something of an outlier. The Macchiaioli, primarily based in Florence, were known for their innovative approach to painting, emphasizing light and color over precise outlines, which they achieved through rapid brushstrokes or macchie, Italian for patches. While Costa shared their interest in depicting natural landscapes and their radical approach to light, his work tended to be more detailed and less abstract than that of other members of the group. His style evolved significantly during his stay in Florence from 1853 to 1861. Here, Costa became friends with many prominent artists and intellectuals, including the likes of Giuseppe Abbati and Silvestro Lega, who further influenced his artistic development. His paintings from this period, such as La Maremma, 1857, show a distinct shift towards capturing the ephemeral effects of light and atmosphere, a precursor to what would later be recognized as Impressionism. Post-unification, Costa's work gained recognition for its romantic portrayal of the Italian landscape, devoid of the idealization typical of earlier depictions. His focus was on the authentic representation of nature. He saw landscape painting as a spiritual exercise and an act of love towards his homeland, an ethos that imbued his canvases with a poignant sense of place and time. Throughout the 1860s and 1870s, Costa became an influential figure in promoting landscape painting in Italy. He mentored many young artists, including the English painters George Howard, who became the ninth Earl of Carlisle, and his wife, Rosalind Howard, advocating for the plein air technique, painting outdoors to capture the spirit of the landscape directly from nature. His circle expanded to include members of the broader European artistic community, reinforcing his status as a cultural ambassador for Italy. One of Costa's notable contributions to Italian art was his role in founding the Etruscan school in the 1870s. This group, named after the ancient civilization that once inhabited parts of modern-day Italy, focused on portraying the Italian landscape in a direct, unembellished style. Through this, Costa aimed to cultivate a sense of national identity and pride by connecting contemporary Italy with its ancient past. Later in his life, Costa's work continued to evolve reflecting a more serene and contemplative approach to nature. His palette softened and his compositions grew more harmonious, capturing the tranquil beauty of Italy's rural landscapes. Paintings from this period, such as Morning in the Roman Campagna, 1890, exemplify his mature style, characterized by a masterful balance of light and color. Giovanni Costa's legacy extends beyond his paintings. He was an ardent supporter of young artists and played a significant role in the establishment of various artistic societies, including the In Arte Libertas group in 1900, which promoted freedom in artistic expression. He also had a significant influence on the cultural policies of newly unified Italy, advocating for the preservation of Italy's cultural heritage. Costa died on January 31, 1903, in Marina di Pisa. 
He left behind a rich body of work that continues to be celebrated for its pioneering approach to landscape painting and its heartfelt depiction of Italian national identity. His paintings are held in many major museums across Italy and the world, testament to his enduring influence on the art of landscape painting. Through his devotion to art and country, Giovanni Costa not only captured the beauty of Italy, but also helped shape the cultural identity of a nation newly born.